This is Twit. Our new location, we call it the, uh, right now anyway, the Brick Twit House. I think we'll come up with a better name, maybe Twit Studios. 9,400 square feet upstairs, 6,000 square feet downstairs, and I've come over today with our new set designer, Roger Ambrose. Roger uh, is an old friend. He's the guy who did the latest screensaver set, that beautiful one with arches. He's very well known in Hollywood. He's a super designer with a great eye, and he really understands what we're doing, so I love that. Plus, he's great at reuse and recycle, so we'll have a lot of old pieces uh, from all over, maybe some of them from the screensaver set. You know, I think you're going to like what he's, what he's about to do. We also brought over uh, two of our uh, builders from Cretans, uh, Dave and Jim. And so Roger, for the first time, is meeting them and is going to show them what he wants to do to the inside of this old building. You want, you want to take a look? Come on. We're seeing the studio for the first time through our designer's eyes. Roger Ambrose is here. He's showing our construction crew the demolition that has to be done. Things like that are going to be taken out. This corner is going to be taken out. That corner is going to be taken out. But he's also speaking to them in general terms about the kind of building that's going to occur once we take out those pieces. This corner office is going where it's lit. Uh, it will be open space. My studio, my office will be these from the door on. We've got a lot of space here. We can put a pool table or couches, TV sets there. It's a great space. Isn't it? It is yeah, fantastic. When they sent me pictures, it's like, ooh, I'm going to have some fun with this place. And part of the design idea is I'm going to, after we get the concept approved, I'm going to make a miniature. Okay. And as we are developing things, then you guys have a tabletop that can move things around and discover what the show's going to look like before. We're talking about wanting to be on the air May 2nd, so we've got to have some lead time to get wires in and all that. And we may, in those last three weeks, be working electrical or we're finishing up details. So Roger, describe just, so you're thinking we leave this here untouched. From here, this we take all of those out down we'll, there. We'll run out. Take right. these corner offices out to make a squarer space for the studio space. Well, right, you're going to need a little bit more room than what we have from the With office death. wall yes. here. And that gives you freedom that when we set the camera here, you can see the entire space. We're right. cutting those two corners off. Opens it up. It opens it up. Right. The majority of it built, being able to take things to paint and dressing the set, the 26 to 20. Well, but you it's may be able to, I don't know what the, the ducks are over there. We'll have people talking, but when I started thinking about shooting sometimes this way and sometimes we'll be shooting this way so that you can see these beautiful picture windows and what's going on outside. People can come in and look at us and we can look out at them. All right, let's, let's see some more of the building. Come on. This building has been empty for two years. It used to be the old Bias Sound. Um, they moved on there somewhere else in Petaluma. It just was too big for them, but you know what? We're benefiting because they did so many great upgrades. We've got Ethernet everywhere, conditioned power everywhere. We've even got a server room where everything terminates in the basement. It's not only huge, it's not only affordable, it's got great bones. I think we're gonna have a really exciting studio in here. And the best part is the basement. Come on down, let's take a look. This is it, me and Kobe. Dark, unfortunately the ceiling I can touch it, it's too low for us to put in lights, so I don't know if we'll be able to shoot down here, but boy, we got a lot of storage, and we got all sorts of other ideas. I don't know, paintball anyone? Well, that's it. Welcome to the Twit Brick House. I think we're going to do some really great things in here. Uh, 
just imagine yourself coming in the front door, our reception desk here, we'll greet you, we'll take you into the studio, it's going to be so much fun. We'll see you here uh, roughly May in Petaluma, California. Thanks for joining me. We'll see you soon.